Okay, so we're going to discuss the Jones criteria in helping make the diagnosis of acute rheumatic fever. These criteria say that at least two major manifestations be present, or one major and two minor. Now, conveniently, the words Jones criteria can be used as a mnemonic, the J standing for joints. This is a migratory polyarthritis affecting the large joints. The O can either stand for obvious because the heart is the obvious organ that we're talking about or can be thought of as um, looking like a heart, it causes a pancarditis and numerous other sequelae. The N stands for subcutaneous nodules and we'll talk about this in just a moment. The E is a very distinctive rash called erythema marginatum also known as erythema annulare because of its uh, ring shape. And finally the S is for Sydenham's chorea, which is a neurologic sequelae. Now the minor criteria, uh, we use the word criteria, but we throw out the C, we throw out the R, and we begin with the letter I, which stands for inflammatory cells or a leukocytosis. Sometimes this is left out of the minor criteria, but I decided to just, just include it to let you know. The T is for temperature, fever. E is ESR and CRP, the acute phase reactants. The R is for a raised or a prolonged PR interval. And then the I is itself, so any previous history of rheumatic fever is a minor criteria. And then finally, arthralgias, which are just joint pains. Again, you need two major manifestations, or one major and two minor, in making the diagnosis. So looking at the major manifestations a little more closely, the migratory polyarthritis usually starts uh, at the legs and works its way upwards. It affects the large joints, often leaving them red, hot, and swollen. NSAIDs and aspirin uh, readily relieve the pain. There are many cardiac manifestations. The most common lasting sequela is mitral valve damage due to scarring. Symptoms may be very subtle such as only chest discomfort. Cardiomegaly is the most common radiologic manifestation of carditis. The subcutaneous nodules tend to be firm and painless, usually over bony processes, an average of about three to four, but they range from maybe two to 12, and they only last a couple of weeks. The erythema marginatum is a non rash that spreads outward. Uh, it usually um, only occurs if there is carditis. And then Sydenham's chorea, also known as St. Vitus dance. Now by the time um, people present with rheumatic fever, throat cultures are negative 75% of the time, but streptococcal antibodies are more useful at that time because uh, they reach their peak titer level at that time, and they also indicate a true infection versus just a transient carriage.